Hi pre-Ks and welcome to Math Magic. You know what to do. Get out your magic math hat. Put it on the top of your head. Remember, the taller the hat, the smarter you are. Here we go. Math magic. Because math is like magic. Numbers disappear. They reappear. They grow really big and they shrink down really small to zero. I love math and I know you do too. So guess what? This week, this is our last sheet for Math Magic, and it's a challenge, a challenge. Remember what a challenge is? Colette does not do the paper with you. I'm gonna explain the directions, and then you have to do it on your own. And after you complete the sheet, I want you to take a picture and send it to Max, because I wanna see how smart my pre-Ks are. So, let's take a look. What shape am I? Hmm, we just reviewed shapes, so you should know all the answers. So these are riddles. Mom and Dad can help you read the words, but I want you only to answer the question. It says read each riddle. Write the name of the shape or draw a picture of the shape. So if you don't know how to spell the name of the shape, that's fine but you can draw it on your own. So let's read the first riddle. I have zero sides. I have zero corners. I am round. What shape am I? I'm not gonna tell you. You have to draw a picture of that shape right there. The next riddle says, I have four sides and four corners. Remember, we just learned about corners. All of my sides are equal. That means they're the same size. What shape am I? Draw the shape here. I'm not gonna tell you the answer. You know that already. The next riddle says, I have four corners. I have two short sides and two long sides. What shape am I? Hmm. That one might be a little tricky, but I know my pre-Ks can get the answer. Now the last one says, I have three sides and three corners. I am shaped like a slice of pizza. What shape am I? Oh, that's an easy one, pre-Ks. I know you can get that answer. Now remember, this is a challenge. So Colette is not gonna do the sheet with you. I read you all the riddles, and I want you to draw the shapes in these boxes and tell me what the answers are. Now remember, when you're done, take a picture, send it to Max, and I wanna take a look and see if you got them right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's challenge and this week's Math Magic Sheets. We'll see you next time, bye.